Drew Show with a W. Free syringes. Ice maker. Nikes. My name is Fat Mike. I'm an old punk rocker. Who's more well known for being a shit talker? A troublemaker and iconoclast. I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast. The Sidewalk Project. Incorrect spelling. Chode. Stacy motherfucking D. Episode 8. The Crew Show Show. Once again, it's Sam from Get Dead. Mm-hmm. On, on Fat Mike's Fat Mike. That's the name of my show. You know? Fat Mike's Fat Mike? Fat Mike's yes. Fat Mike. This episode is uh, y- your guest, but the get, well, you know, you're like a, a sidekick. The guest is Crew Show. I'm a sidekick now. Yeah. <laughs> Talk into your mic. <laughs> you have a microphone. I'm a side, see, I'm a, si- I'm a sidekick you now. You can move the mic towards you. You know. Okay. Well, You've done can this before. I? Can I? Uh, Crew show is a friend of mine. Who? Why don't you say hi? T- tell tell them about yourself. Hello, everybody. Crew show. C R U S H O W. I don't think that's the correct spelling. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it is. I don't think there's a W. It is. Can we this. agree to disagree? We can agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a native out of uh, South Central LA. Yeah, born in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, but raised in LA. And how did we meet? Well, it it was a video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you work with the Sidewalk Project. Yes, sir. And you do stuff like? Well, Sidewalk Project, we're an art collective mm-hmm. that are in the streets. That's why we call it the Sidewalks. And our purpose is to use art to connect with those that are unhoused or transitioning in life. Um, and we use art as our tool to connect, to see what are the needs. Well, that's a good idea. I, uh, it's, it's a great project. It's awesome. You also do stuff like this, because I, I gave away some stuff one day. And uh, it was so fun. Because basically, yeah. we're, we're helping the people of, of Skid Row. Exactly. So this is what we got to do. Just Please. giving away pot on Skid Row, and needles, and hygiene, and water. Dope shit. Here's a video you guys don't get to see, but it's pretty cool. Dope shit. There's Johnny from Old Dan Markley. Yes, yeah, indeed. It's... Oh, Didn't you guys have a flat yeah. screen up there before? We we'll get there. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't asked for it, but I know he wants it. This is legal. It's legal. That's what's so cool. This is fun. This is we're giving away drugs in Cal- California. Is all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So when does this happen? Yeah, we're, we're walking down the streets, giving away needles, and that day someone gave us like two hundred dime bags of pot. So it was that's, fu- that's fucking dope. That was fun. Did you smoke it? I don't smoke pot. You guys are the ones that are stoned. I, I'm hope. getting stoned from this. From the pot in the air here, geez, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm already confused. Well, the community pre- appreciates it, man, because for one, um, stress reliever for those that that wish to indulge, um, those that don't, and, and you know, and take it, they use it as a tool and they sell it. And they sell. I know that's that was the guy's yeah. like, can I have four more bags? Yeah. And he's just selling it for five bucks instead of yeah. ten bucks. The whole thing is getting something to make it. You know, the whole thing is if you can get some kind of assistance. To change the reality that's going on to help out your narrative, and it, you know it always works. Right. Uh, it's 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 such a good organization, and uh, well, that's how we met. Yeah, it helped get me off the streets. Right. You know, and the sidewalk project helped get me off. And the uh, when who you start, who started the sidewalk project? Well, I would say I I asked them to to have a name. Yeah. Because they didn't have a name. It was just like know? a collective. It was, it was just Soma. A collective. Yeah, yeah, Soma. And you were her protector, Emily. That's how we met. Well, yeah, I, and I, Stacy. I, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't would say her protector. You know, she keeps a knife on her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I'll say I'm just. She good. Her. Yeah, she's cool. You know what I mean. She she's said tough was, as fuck. She had to like meet with all the block leaders. Well, yeah. Well, you know that's the that's the thing. Um, when 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 people come into the neighborhood, you know, a lot of times they come and they leave. You know. Um, but if I'm going to deal with someone, 
I like to say, well, if we're going to deal with each other. It's somewhat like it's an adoption. And if you're going to deal with me, then my name and my, my face is on me bringing you here. So um, I, the community is going to look at you to be here more than one day. Right. You know, they're going to look out to be seeing you because I'm I'm letting you into a different part than just most people that come in. Most people that come in the skid row, they come into one area and they give out their clothes and they give out this, but they don't know the people and they don't meet the people. But if you come with me, then my thing is for you to know somebody, get to meet somebody because that relationship can help change someone. So doing that, so yeah, so doing that, it means to where I have to vouch for you. So you better hang around for a while. I let her hang around for a couple buddy. days and take pictures. Yeah, you know, back in there. Not back in, but but with her wanting to hang out as much, I started turning around and someone would just be downtown just on her own. I just turn around and she wouldn't even be telling me she's there. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? You know, let me know that you're down here. And see, the reason why I say that is because, for one, she doesn't die down that she's a sex worker. So her walk and the way she appears. It's going to attract these guys that are there, right? And she and being a dom though, and being a dom, she has this false sense she has of security. This, she's like, yeah. oh man, bow to me. They she, yeah, my boots, she has this. Yeah, not everyone she, on the fucking street is, you know. But but with her knowing that, my thing was was shit. If you're going to be out here, then we need to let the people know that you're going to be here. So that's why she ended up meeting with with representatives of the neighborhood. Right. She said that was. She goes, yeah. Well, that was a little scary. Well, yeah, because she didn't come to meet. She didn't step in to meet like the mayor. Mm-hmm. She so didn't step in. She stepped in to meet the fucking dealers. You're like the mayor. Well, you you, you had a block. It was your block, right? Yeah. Well, no, I, I consider I consider the fifty mine. Yeah. We can go anywhere on them fifty. Now, I did have areas to where when I sold drugs that I I I had. You sold drugs. And, yeah, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, hey. Who hasn't? Who hasn't, huh? You know? Me. Uh, but, but it was like, your responsibility. <laughs> I know everyone's laughing now when you said that. Uh, but you had your area. Mm. And if anyone got fucked with, you. Uh, yeah, I'm making sure that it's, it's cool, man. I mean, because, you know, if the area gets bad, then that means police are coming. And police come around, that means you can't make any money. And Oh, right. That's how it starts. That's bullshit. You know, so you got to keep the area cool so you can always keep business going. Right. What's you guys, what's, uh, what's you guys' policy on like graffiti heads coming in there and not just trying to take, like get shots and stuff, you know? Well, that, yeah, you know what? That's how it's always been. Even, but be, even before I was, um, see like now that's all my focus is, is on in Skid Row. Art. Yeah. You know, my yeah. focus is art now. Yeah. Um, before. I was still on the fashion of get the fuck out of here from tagging. Yeah, even sure. though I even though I'm a tagger, you yeah, still yeah. want cops for sure. Yeah, you know, well, my thing is no, go somewhere else and fuck up some shit because we already got this shit here. Yeah, yeah. this shit's already here. We yeah, don't need no graffiti. You, you know, yeah. You, yeah, 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 go somewhere else wall. and go yeah. somewhere else and do some shit. But when I became an art, but when I started wanting to do my artwork in the area and engage in art in the community, that really made me more focused on. Stopping shit. And that's how I became working with a bunch of different organizations. And that's yeah. how I ended up bumping into certain organizations like In Decline, Skid Robot. You know, yeah. Skid Robot was coming into the community. Oh, that's a good name. He was, yeah, you know. It, I it, could steal that for a song. It, and that's what we felt. We felt he was stealing it for fucking clout. Yeah. You know? yeah. But he's a cool little, he's a cool dude. You know, yeah. turned out to be a real cool, solid cat. Yeah, you know, some but, of them aren't. Like, they got after that fucking, that Alex Monopoly fucker. Yeah. That was out here, you know what I mean? Because he was just on some bullshit. He was that's all he was on. Clout fucking just clout. with a projector painting shit on the that's side it. of other people's that's shit. That's it. And stealing somebody else's shit. Yeah. Trying to get some fucking notoriety, you know? But. And that's how I got it, Skid Robot, because I was telling him he was putting bubbles, like little thought processes over people's head when they were asleep. And I was like, hey, man, do you even know who you're putting that bubble for? Because you're just putting the bubble over their head. But what happens when they leave? That bubble's just sitting there. Yeah. Plus, you didn't even talk to that person to know if that's what their yeah. thoughts are. Even, you know? even fill the bubble yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, to even know what to put yeah. in there. Yeah, are you helping the fact? So yeah, then no, I he's st- making a joke. Yeah, that's what I felt. He's just punking. You know, well, but even then, if you're not making a, like a, a ha ha funny joke out of it, you're still like taking advantage of somebody still else's fucking downside somebody's situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know. But then he started waking them up. He start. I start seeing him with pictures yeah. of him. He well, started, now he's housing and doing all that with him, and he's actually the person introduced me to decline. Oh, awesome, man. You know, and then in decline, introduced me to Soma, Stacy, and Emily. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so that's how we're here now. Stacy, who I lived with when I was telling you 
before on Howard Street when I started doing the punk rock stuff. Stacy D. Stacy D. Yeah, Stacy yeah, motherfucking D. Actually, that was my fucking, D. that was my, uh, yeah. my roommate. And when Same I started doing it. punk rock, she was like my, my like fucking like older sister. She'd be like, hey, dude, you need to quit like staring why at you, your, Why you gotta call stare, her older? Staring at your fucking dr- up, drummer. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you have to look at the crowd. She'd be like, oh, she, that was horrible. She just means older than her. Older than him. Yeah. Older than the other lady that yeah, was I know, the drummer. Yeah, I know, it's not nice. You know, don't, don't tell her age. She's, she's he didn't tell her age. Stacy D is a very young. Well, she's not young. Lady. I want to call her young. She's a, she's oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then Soma introduced uh, you to me. Yeah, and it was it was pretty. You just changed my whole outlook on so many different things. Okay. Soma said, "Do you want to go down to this uh, benefit show in Long Beach?" Oh, sure. I'll drive down there with you because the bands were playing. And then yeah. I picked her up because we were, uh, well, we were downtown. But that was before then. And uh, she goes, and I want to pick up Cruise Show and take him down too. I'm like, oh, who's that? Uh, you know, he's, he helps me out on in the Sidewalk Project. Yeah. And uh, but at this time, he, I, I, he this homeless. time I stayed in, I, I was living on the streets. Yeah. So we pulled over by your tent. Yeah. And first of all, I'm like, man. Look at that tent. It's on wheels. Yeah. That's so smart. Yeah, mobile. Sick. Yeah. And, it's off the ground, you know, too. above yeah, ground. Yeah, I can just then, move it And it just fast. It tripped me out because you have like a TV there or stereo. You have like an ice maker. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you, had a, you had a dog. <laughs> I had a TV and, and an and ice maker. I'm like, maker. And a bike. And I'm like, so you're just going to bail? It, you know, you could just, yeah, well. No one's gonna touch my shit. Yeah, no, nobody's messing with it. But, which is pretty cool. I and killer, I like the wheel I thing. Some, you know, I had some killer pit bulls though. Right. You got it, pit bulls? It, I had pit bulls. They rest in peace now. Oh man, I'm sorry. But at the time, I had some killer. Did they losing a fight? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, fight with me. I took them yeah. on a fucking run, man. Oh no. Nah. Yeah. So uh, we get in my minivan, and that's we really started to talk. And you told me some interesting things. Uh, but we're going down to Long Beach, and you said, hey, Mike, can you pull over at this Nike store? It was Nike, right? Yeah. I'm like, you want to go to the Nike store? Yeah, straight from the tent. Yeah. And I go, uh, why? You, you go, oh, I have shoes on layaway. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. You have shoes on layaway at yeah. the Nike store. Yeah. yeah they're, they're dope shoes, man. $300 shoes. I put down $150. i am like, what kind of Nike's are you? Jordans. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. And you... Uh, pay them off, put them in the minivan, and I'm like, why the fuck do you live on the street and buy three hundred dollars shoes? Because you like three hundred dollars shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said, well, I go, it seems, and you and you get a lot of work with your artwork. Uh, why don't you uh, get a place? You know, if you can afford three hundred dollars shoes. And you said, uh, I'm a felon and I have pit bulls. I think you said you're a felon. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, Who's going to fucking rent to me? And I was like, Pull. I go, right. That makes so much sense. And no one's going to rent you an apartment. Uh, yeah, you live on the street. and Make it happen. Yeah, and, and as far as street living, you know, you had a pretty cool, cool pad. Yeah, and then went from there, you know, from- And from, your kids live in Long Beach too, so you visit Yeah, they're in, they're in Long Beach. But see, now that, what was that? That was like two years ago? Almost More. two and a half years ago? Almost three years? Uh, three years. Yeah. So the community that I'm around now with you, you know, uh, Soma, the people that are around that community and they come with it, plus the people I've in, inquired, now it's built a community where I don't have to be on the streets anymore. Right. Yeah, I've been to you your know place. You know what I mean? Now we have an art studio, um, sidewalk project, doesn't need to put all the supplies at Soma's house and then my stuff at the tent. We have an office now. <sighs> so awesome. You know what I mean? Where's so your office at? It's off of Alameda awesome. and Olympic. Yeah. It's, it's it's awesome place. Yeah. So everything is you know evolved, and that was and the a whole bunch thing. of artwork yeah. from different artists yeah. there. And that was the whole thing. Um, at the time, not having the community and having the right resources to have a place, and why I sit there and fight with trying to get a place when at the time, and like I still feel feel the same way. You know, I can try to figure out what box I want to be in at the moment, but I'm only going to go to sleep for so many hours. You know, and that's the only time you really at a at a Residing in a house to, to fall asleep, unless you're gonna hold business at your spot. Yeah, 
You know what I mean? But other than that, you just need locations to handle your business. Yeah. So right now, I that's why I'm I can't I'm sleep by myself in my house. It's so weird. I can't. I mean, I don't fucking. I maybe I never sleep in my own bedroom. I sleep on the couch. I can't be alone. And I have to have the TV on, like, and then. Uh, I just watch, That's what it is about being the traveler, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, when we're on a tour bus, well, yeah, tour van, uh, yeah. you sleep good in a bus because all your bros are around and no, there's a solid noise from the engine. That's when I sleep good. Oh, dude, my, my, my old boss, alone, I'm like, oh, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, my old boss would make me drive. <laughs> like anytime, like we would go anywhere when I was a fucking house painter. My old boss would make me drive because if I was a passenger, and if it was early in the morning or if it was in mid afternoon, if I'm a passenger in a fucking car, I just go you to fall sleep. asleep. Yeah, I just cross my arms and I'm just. Nah, He'd I'll always be like, pillow. "No, you Where drive." I go? I bring yeah. a neck pillow. Yeah. I'm I'm neck pillow because you never know what you can get. I've never sleep. used a neck pillow. I've never, <laughs> I've never fucked with. I've a never neck done pillow. that either. Why? Because they look goofy. I need one too. Because you're a tough guy. You don't need a neck pillow. I just don't see like what the. I just don't see like what the benefit would be. Like, you know, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I put it's a, only I put like one the biggest on, selling thing never, of like, all time because you, you know what I mean. You want a stiff neck? I don't. I, I don't have a stiff neck. That's and why I you got tears because because your neck hurts That's so much. I cry. I cry hanging out with you every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not true. I'm crying, for, I'm crying for that. You know what? I'm gonna get you some neck pillows. I'm gonna get you a whole bunch. You look like the Africans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> put the rings around. <laughs> Gonna eat some skinny neck pillows. <laughs> That's funny. He said, uh, "Oh my goodness!" With that house shit in mind, I just read a fucking National Geographic on the airplane that had they showed like an outlay of like a mini McMansion you would buy out in Vegas or something like a two hundred thousand dollar house uh -huh. for a you know a, a three person family, yeah. and it shows like it tracked what you do when you go in the house. Motherfuckers come in through the garage, they go into the kitchen, circle around a bunch of times, go to a bathroom kitchen circle around and then just go up to the room and pass out and show all the wasted space that you yeah, have that they don't but, use yeah but that they don't just use you know yeah. i'm fucking living in a house by myself for the first time and it's like three bedrooms and i'm just like uh it's just like a lot of fucking space to deal with you know but i'm also a landlord and i make it a point to like fucking rent my other place to people that fucking have shitty credit or you know, yeah. my last fucking my last <laughs> tenant was like, well, yeah, my, my <laughs> last tenant had a pit, my last tenant had a pit bull. This motherfucker had a pit bull. Oh yeah, and he had fucking yeah, good guess. Hey, see, that's what we're talking about. He had San Jose. It's about who you know. Down, San Jose it's about down you the know. back of his fucking down the back of his legs. It's San Jose, and he showed up to check out, fill out some applications for an apartment and shit. With fucking, you know, cut off jean shorts and his fucking new little girlfriend and shit. Yeah. And he saw me, he's like, I'm fucking, I'm oh, in the yeah, trades, yeah. I, do, I do fucking construction. I was like, all right, man, I'm just going to run your name. He's like, well, you know. I was like, dude, I don't care what you've done. Like, I don't care. It was as long as you're fucking not a petter ass and, like, you don't fucking rob old people. Yeah. We're gold, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Check this shit. Yeah, he's been- be fucked up. Elmwood is, like, Elmwood is like the fucking, the county jail for, you know, San Jose. Been Bingo. there, like, 22 times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, which brings me to- But he was, he was cool. He was a cool tenant for, like, six years. I just, I just left. I just got him out because fucking his shit flooded. We had a disagreement over some fucking money stuff, and he, uh, we parted ways. But I got a. Uh, but he was cool though. I mean, this is a this is an exclusive, right? So, here. so you've been. Fuck, like, I don't even know if I. No, I Twenty-two times. That. What's that? No, yeah, he he okay. had he had been. You've been to, to prison or jail? I haven't been to prison. I've been I've been to county jail. Yeah, so you both many, been to county jail. Times. Now, Sam, I'm going to play a clip. He gave me some advice the other day. You know, in case I end up in jail, uh, I forgot what I was doing, but it was something where I I could I could go to jail for it. I wasn't robbing old people. That's weird. <laughs> well, that's why you got to check these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Because there's, yeah. there's people out there that do that. You know, I mean, yeah. you know I can talk into the mic, Sam. What are you talking to the mic? I can deal, you know, like, I don't give a fuck if you got into a drunken, like, bar fight or you got a DUI. No, because that's what you Or do. you, like, skipped out on some alimony or some bullshit. Uh, you know what I mean? But, no, but, like, but beating up old people. Yeah, beating up old people. That's yeah, Johnny bad. Ramone for the Ramones. He beat up old people? No. And, and, and fucking when he was in high kids. school. Yeah, yeah those two yeah, things. Fucking, lowest of low. He used to spit on old people. He'd see old people and spit on them. Like, what? <laughs> Knock that You're not robbing out. them. And that's your them. friend? No, it's for the yeah. Ramones. He is not my friend. <laughs> I was going to say, I knocked that dude out. That's fucked up. He, he's dead. The Ramones are all dead. I can see why. Oh, okay. the first I see why rock bands all die from natural causes. Or what? Like well, getting knocked out, <laughs> spin on me, ma. Yeah, <laughs> you know, fuck Johnny Ramone. Anyway, he gave me some advice in case I go to jail, and tell me if this is what you would do. <laughs> Solid shit. You gave me tips on how to get through prison. And what did I tell you? You, you said to clean up after yourself. You told me. Uh, well, that's a, that's a, don't a, try to pick a fight with anybody. 
No, that's not what I said. I said, you find the biggest motherfucker that you see when you walk in there. And say, and you look him, no, excuse me, sir. No, you look him dead in the eye and you go, hey, guy, and you fucking tickle him. Tickle him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ooh, is that yeah. good advice? Hey, yeah. that right there. Hey, bro. Th- hey, bro have you done that? Hey, because you you're going yeah, to get it. You're going to get it in the way yeah, it goes. Way. So, you Might do that well, right uh, there? Yeah. Fortune, fortune favors a bold. Yeah, they fuck. I was thinking that you that you play the circle game on him. You know, put a circle in. This guy, hey, this guy too. We're fucking. We made a track with uh, my friend Chesky, and Chesky's like putting bars down about like fucking. Like it doesn't matter if he gets locked up. His commissary's paid. He'll be swimming in honey buns. Yeah. This fucking top hat over here, dude. <laughs> this guy, like two weeks later, he's like, oh, I just think it's so great that like. You know, you're rapping about that, like, you're just going to be in jail and you're just, like, surrounded by all these dudes' asses. And we're like, fucking what, bro? Honey buns. What I do you, you put honey what? on the bun and Excuse fuck the bun. Me, sir? <laughs> sir, it's Tuesday. I mean, <laughs> the, the word bun has been yeah. used, like, nice buns. Where did you know? he get that from? He's just going to die. Well, because he gives you the wrong information. <laughs> where, did he, where did he get that from? I never told you honey buns. We're fucking <laughs> no, you told dude. me to tickle the biggest guy. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole different thing. Dude. That's, that's, for, that's specific. That's, and you did tell me to clean up after myself, yeah, like I'm like yeah, I'm a absolutely. dirty Jew. Well, I I never said that. Uh, I, just, I think it'll, you'll it'll, you you'll, meant. Go, you'll go a lot further like being clean and yeah. and being quiet. I'm not, I'm being not going quiet. to showers. Yeah. I'm not taking a shower. I mean, I don't like showers anyway. My nah. people don't like showers. If it's your time to shower, you have nothing to worry about. But if somebody asks you to go into the shower, I mean, it's, you're not probably. More, I wouldn't go to ninety percent time you could get beat up. If I was in German yeah, prison, yeah, the shower was maybe the time to get out. Maybe there's that one percent though. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I see that top hat. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> you know, they'd see my top hat. They go, you know what? He's got some honey buns. Oh, so <laughs> See what I mean? I mean but I seriously, if I went to German jail, I would oh, not take. A, I would not take a shower there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you know. Have you ever been to jail in Germany? Have no, I've been. I've been to jail. Come on. Yeah. In New York. Yeah. Yeah. Protesting. I was, no, I was caught with a deadly weapon. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's he a nightstick that I stole from a security guard. He said protest. Oh, it was a protest. Not, not a cop one, but like, who's is this? And oh, like, like, oh a, my God. like a rent-a-cop? I was the one who took it. Oh, yeah, not even a, It was the security guard for a nice party in so Beverly Hills. Like in the Halloween store? I stole that, and then we stole a keg from the party, and we got caught for the keg. But a uh, keg. Yeah, I've, had, a, I've a, done time. A it keg. Was a almost keg 24 a, hours. A keg and a nightstick. Cheers. Cheers. Cheer, you know what? Oh. oh. I brought, I like to have one... Uh, one bottle of vodka at night. This so, episode brought to you by Tito's. Tito's ruin your family. Yeah, is that how you do it? <laughs> is that how you do it? Is that how you pr- promote shit? <laughs> that's that guy right there. <laughs> Off he's the my, vodka. That's my sidekick right there. Mm. Off the vodka. This is you know what? Some days not endorse this. One time I'll I'll be your sidekick. I needed you to, hey, you know what? Let's talk about it, bro. I've always wanted to ask you this. Love you, Chesky. I hear that you're friends with Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Is that true? I mean, he's a big star. Well, you know what? I've met him. He's came through a couple of times in Skid Row. Mm. And then my brother's done some music with him. Oh. Yeah. Good. But um, That's enough. That's yeah, a great story. I, don't, I can't say a we're great friends. Great story. Because I haven't reached out to see if we have that connection. Uh, yeah, I've never reached out either. <laughs> He's a... Uh, okay, I did reach out. <sighs> Is he here? Yeah, he said, no, I don't want to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> never, well, yeah, it never okay. happened. <laughs> you hit him up on Tinder? What, what do you mean, you reached <laughs> out? The fuck? <laughs> I, was, I wanted to buy a gun. I thought he might know something about it. <laughs> I thought he might know something about buying guns, huh? Name is Machine Gun. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna have a fun, we're gonna have a, uh, a, a contest later. But before that, I just want to show uh, when we, when I met you with Darla when we filmed that video together. We filmed a video. Remember, uh, my 14 yeah. year old daughter filmed this video the first time where she w- was holding. Yeah, she was walking. She was walking, holding a selfie stick. You couldn't really tell she was holding it, and I was playing the music behind her and you were in front of us going like get the fuck out of the way yeah letting you guys shoot the video yeah and we uh it was so it was a great video too 
yeah, it was really cool. But it was crazy because you don't get to catch everything. Like the, like that one guy was shooting up, and Dara's like looking at him, and then we and then she walked through a crap game. That was awesome. <laughs> Probably not for the guy that she kicked the dice. But this is but this is what <laughs> she was doing. Imagine? I was making sure that didn't happen. Yeah, that would be some crazy <laughs> shit. Did you get a video? But this is this is how cool my dar- uh, my daughter is. But this is you and her, which is. Uh, this is you really need f- to get a fucking screen up here. I know. I'm, I'm getting you a used screen. to have one. What the fuck is it? <sighs> is some like a bee We're studio? moving into the other room. Is it? <laughs> she <laughs> likes to play around the same look way. Look at this video. Yeah, so gun Kelly, are we in the bee studio? Look at this. She's. Where are you? Those are your shoes, dude. Oh, well, she's best with the dog. Rest in peace. Yeah. She's just lying on the sidewalk. Lying on the sidewalk. Why not? Petting the pit bull. Get her out. Yeah. <laughs> sidewalk, you know, whatever. And there's you. We have a lot of people. Tim, I almost brought my dog, yeah. too. Yeah. He, he's rest in peace dog. now, man. It looks like right there. Oh, I brought like, almost mine. I brought mine down. Now I'm going to get people's bad pets. I mean, bad but that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just lying on the sidewalk, no petting your dog's belly. That's a guarantee. Uh, <laughs> that's how easy it is to lay in skid row. Right there. It's the only spot. It's skid row. And, and, yeah, your dog's trying to hunt my daughter. That's fucked up. Dog, hey, Vicey, you you're you're fucking gnarly, right? I mean, well, you know, you already you already know when you go in there what right. not to do if you if you're a, if you're a real street dude. Yeah, then you know what not to fucking do when you get into the. When I, when I went to jail in New York, they put me in Gen Pop right like right away. I was like, oh man, this is gonna suck. But I, there was a card game going on, and I got in the card game playing Hearts, that and, shit. and I fucking kicked their ass. Of course. Oh, you had a good time. They even cheated. I, yeah, I'm not jumping in no games in, in jail. Or, oh, no, yeah. I'm, I card jump, game? I don't jump in games in right the street. In. Really. <laughs> Basketball game, maybe. Uh, well, you're going to play my maybe, game. Maybe, maybe game of skate? Game of skate or yeah. something. We, we have a game. The game, the But I'm not jumping in no game. fucking prison games or no mm. jailhouse games or playing no games. Well, the thing jail. is, there's no Jewish segment in prison. So... That's that's rough. You guys You're own Jewish. the you guys own yeah. the prison. Yeah. You keep, keep I'm Jewish. You Jewish. Ish. Yeah, I got you. I yeah. got you. But like, yeah, the, there, there's what, no Jewish what, gangs in prison. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jew, I'm Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't believe in God or think that we're chosen people. I just think we're the uh, you know we're funny people. Yeah. You said uh. We we've got the the comedian. The stand-up comedian got wired. That, got that We wired. fucking own that shit. Nobody's got that like you. No, actually, Richard Pryor. He's, he was... A, he was a, a cold motherfucker. He, he was the best, though. Yeah. yeah. He, he might be Jewish, though. That was Sammy Davis Jr. Eddie Murphy's Jewish. What? Charlie Murphy's Jewish. Charlie Rest Murphy's Jewish. Yeah. Rest All right. Peace. This is off track. What, what's off let's, track? Let's smoke this, this blunt. This is a good shit. <laughs> this shit. <sighs> Hit this shit or we got a problem. Are you a fed? <laughs> you a fed? Yeah, you know what I mean? Hit this shit or we got a problem. <laughs> hit this shit or you the I'll, fed. Uh, I'd say check for a wire, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <a> wire. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the, that'd be the move. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're going to be on a podcast. Uh, smoke. This smoke, is cool. This smoke, is smoke. And this is legal, too. Yeah, this is California. This is uh, state. Stacy fucking D says this is this is being California sober. You used to watching Living Color. Of course, everybody did. Huh? Fucking, I even listened to the band. That Living was Color. back when, like, I listened to the band, the show. Everything. You had you had to watch it because next day at, next day at school, if you didn't, like, you were just you, fucking. You were lame. Yeah, you were lame. Like you didn't know none of the jokes. People wouldn't talk Fuck. to you. Fuck, you had to. You had to. Yeah, but um, the maybe Jews don't. But he wasn't in. World. He wasn't in. He, he was already like in high school at that time. This motherfuckers watch silent films and shit. <sighs> Damn, I like I like foreign films. I made a black and white film. I got I got a fucking AVN. Oh, that's you really actually have a dope. Hey, I don't know if you guys know, but what have you, do you talk about your fucking play? Oh, the play. We, we yeah. Mike I should have your best play. Well, that's you. Know, that's another thing. That's nothing we've done together. I gave you. Uh, about like 50 dumpsters. Hey, those dumpsters were the coolest shit. And, we did, and, know, he, and he found a bunch of street artists to, to yeah, work on them. A bunch of people on Skid Row, man. That's one thing, man. I uh, want to congratulate you. Somebody else was bringing that up just not even, maybe about five, six months ago. They're like, Crucial, remember when you had us painting those dumpsters? You know? And, you know, you you just putting the money towards, you yeah. Know, Without shelter, you know that's another thing that's that's came about within Skid Row. You know, I, I don't I don't think people realize Skid Row is, um, you know, when they think about Skid Row, that's one reason why I wanted to do this podcast with you, man. Um, 
I need people to start looking at Skid Row differently because Skid Row is is a 50 block radius, right? And that's north side of 9th Street to the south side of 3rd Street, the east side of Maine to the west side of Alameda, right? And within that zone, you have the Toy District, you have the Fabric District, you have the Flower District, right? You have the Garment District. Yeah. You know, let alone all the other businesses that are striving. And they have huge like events it. going on down there, and all the time they just have like the big old rave. My buddy's got a like, yeah, a, a, some yeah. music plus the warehouses, but, right? So yeah, yeah, you got the. I was on six in Maine. You got it's the. Like, it's, like it's, only, it's like not. And so yeah, they need to quit looking at it like Skid Row's like the fucking. You know, it's, like, it's, it's, it's so that's chill. Just a fucking, that's just a neighborhood. Just a that's just yeah, because that's what you do. You but keep one they, of the, they, all the assholes. You guys kick out. Get them out of there. Yeah, but the whole sure. thing is, it's one of the hardest working areas in Los Angeles because you got to think the mothers that come down there are immigrant moms from different countries to come work those plants work those areas at early in the morning man and they're bringing their kids young kids to the daycares that's over in skid Row and around the area and all yeah. that so it's the hardest working people there from all the sewing shops yeah to everything cut shops and all the stuff the that's linen there. cleaning shops yeah and shit, but people yeah. always just look at it as just the fucking where a warehouse with some steam coming out of it and shit just, no it's a busy area just, just yeah. tents or homeless yeah. you know right. But not realizing that those same people in those tents work just as hard as those people that are in those warehouses. That yeah. whole area is a hard working area. And that's what I'm wanting people to start realizing. It's more than just the tents. It's more than just the mental health. It's more than just the homelessness. Now we have that just in areas where people are housed. Yeah. You know, it's just that this shit's out there for you to see. Yeah. You know? But when it comes to that part of LA, man, that's one of the hardest working areas of Los Angeles. And it showcases the fact that it's like two Two communities like that that are working, both working hard and they're working together. Working together. You know what I mean? They're, yeah, not, they're not at odds with each other. They're getting up in the morning, they're making it, they got to move, they're those watching kids, their shit. Those ladies, yeah. you've never heard one of those. You don't, when they were doing that uh, against the the Hispanic men and the yeah. Hispanic people with the with, with the, the carts fruit and trucks shit. And yeah. carts, you didn't hear about that shit down Fuck no. No. Well, it's, it's amazing. Like, I've learned so much about you that don't area. Have that shit from down you. There. We respect and, people that have their yeah. hustle. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's that's what I what I've learned, and I have so much respect for you because the work you do is is just phenomenal, and uh, I'm glad I could be a part of it. I'm glad I could help out. That's general. I, mean, I appreciate it, man. I mean, like it was a joke. He been asking how you know me knowing machine gun yeah. Kelly. That's all a call from the great guy. Yeah. You know, I get a call because a person knows Mike. Yeah. <laughs> for know? sure. Hell yeah. Hey, man. We we liquid Mike. death too. Yeah, Liquid, liquid death. death. Liquid Death homies in, is supplying to Shots Skid Row. The homies in decline and shit. Yeah, in decline. Yeah, you know, aware, well, rest in peace. Everything's coming, man. Oh, aware, yeah. rest in peace. Man. I got one of those Dude, Trump that's, statues. Uh, that's why you were, talk you were talking about that earlier with, we um, were like, you know, checking people down that neighborhood, being like, yo, go fuck up a fucking neighborhood that can get fucked up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The story with fucking, me and fucking big man, we were fucking, we got lost somewhere down in LA, down by the fucking freeways. We ended up in the hills. The world's a big motherfucker. Yeah, man. and we're fucking, we're driving around in the hills Agreed, and, and some weird ass fucking, you know, like rich people shit. And yeah. we're like, I was like, dude, this is the spots that need to be get fucking, get These rocked up. Need to be so hit. we started fucking, you know, allegedly fucking checking, you know, mailbox getting a name and writing, you know, Gary, she knows you did it. Stealing people's because mail? When you fucking, you did? no, 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 we just like saw like the newspaper on the ground or whatever. And like fucking so, in, you know, because it's all one concrete divider wall that comes that spirals down. So you have to come out your mansion and dead end into it. It's like tell her or we will. And like squiggly lines. Oh my god, there. tell her or we will. Tell your wife. You know, or it's it, gonna get bad. Like the thought, I love that. The pro, no, that's that's the process. That's choice. Hey, the process behind that is like because you're if you're, it's like being the that's president. just being mean. It's like if you're the president of the United States, <laughs> you've done some fucking dirt. You yeah. I mean, you're not up there in the Hollywood Hills, <laughs> or those places. If you're not doing fucking significant dirt on the reg, dude. Yeah. So you you, just did, you lay more dirt than anyone I know. That's like a fucking, that's like domestic terrorism. You know, because you're fucking up a domestic thing. Now he's going to go home and tell his wife. He's like, oh, shit. That's a good okay. prank to ruin someone's life. I mean, that's a good. <laughs> hey, lesson, lesson learned, kids. Don't fuck around. Don't fuck around and find out. Or just do, don't do anything no, hey. wrong. And people... Assholes will still fuck with you. Everything, every no, because nah, <laughs> I'll put it to you like this, sir. 
if you came out of there and you didn't do anything and you were clear of fucking conscience, that's true. It wouldn't and bother you, you. Fucking, you did, and you would look at that and you would have your fucking chicken next to you in your little fucking G wagon. Okay, or but I, I and you would say fucking damn, Gary's fucked. I want to make you the argument I mean? though that they some keep people moving, they but keep moving. how many people kept it moving? Yeah. <sighs> No, they had a little heart palpitation. Yeah. yeah, but what if the person wants to cheat and it's okay? And and uh, man, I'm not here to get into all the fucking the quality poly poly shit, bro. Just, you know what I mean? I'm just here fucking saying like, I'm, go fuck up rich people, go fuck up rich people's about. neighborhoods and make them want to make the fucking the shittier neighborhoods better to stop that because that's the only thing that it's like motherfuckers that say, hey, you want more money? Go get a better fucking job. Well, you know, well, what? if you tell people that, then those fucking the coffee you want to go get. And for fucking four bucks in the morning, it's not going to be available. There's going to be a line down the block because people did go get a better job. So what I like about COVID, it taught people how to like kind of be more self-sufficient and people that like kind of wanted to go their own way. Yeah. Realized they didn't need to do the fucking, the grind shit. Wait, That's what I felt about the Black Lives Matter shit. Motherfuckers marching all in the wrong areas. You need to, yeah, you need need to, to be go. marching in our own I did a lot of bike rides yeah, downtown. You know? We were marching in our own neighborhoods. Yeah, straight when up. I, when I did the Rock Against Bush tour. Yeah, this is our shit. Yeah. 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 This is where we need to march at. This is where we killing shit. When we did the Rock Against Bush tour, we played Bakersfield Rock on Fresno. Bush? The Rock Against Bush. Oh, okay. Rock yeah, against yeah, George, George Bush. Bush. And we played, uh, Back we went to play Phoenix and Bakersfield and Fresno. And we went to cities where we got rocks thrown at us. You know, because that was great. where we could make a difference. If you play uh, Berkeley, yeah. you're not going to, you're not helping yeah, anything. Well, yeah, what are you going to do? For sure. But I mean, did you throw any rocks back? Uh, no. Well, no. And the rocks were this big. They went, they went right shameful. through my head. Shameful. And, but it's not shameful. No, there's a crowd there. Someone throws a rock, you throw it back. You're not going to hit the person. But it doesn't matter. If you're in a crowd you hit, of people that are fucking no, that supporting was, one thing. There was a few bad apples, that. Sam. Yeah, well, that's like saying, what's well, like a cop defense? It's like, oh, if you're a cop. How many apples? Bad apples. I mean, how, how, many, bad apple. how many fucking rocks were thrown? They were huge chunks of cement. And, how many? Uh, four. Yeah. In true. Bakersfield, huh? Yeah, and, and, and Eric <laughs> Melvin, I know Vegas so Eric fact. Melvin, he jumped. If he didn't jump, it hit him right here. If he had to jump, it would have fucking ran that head. Fucking face. Damn. And one that went right through my speaker in my cabinet, through the through the through screen. His face. Yeah, and but and, they came to and the somebody screen. threw lettuce and tomatoes at us, and that 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 hurts. That hurts. I mean, That's hey, they fun. paid to get in the show though. They did, but it was a. Uh, did you? You didn't cancel the show. You kept going. Oh, we were playing. Oh, yeah, we played. Sure. I, I've been hit with all. Heffy got hit with a fucking bloody syringe once in, oh! uh, in, in Denmark. <laughs> nah, bro. I just got to say, nice shot. Oh, oh. Ho, ho. No, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, he's okay. It didn't break skin. He just, he's like, oh, what, the, what the hell? Oh, fucking crazy. All right, can we, uh, can we play oh, the game now? Who the, f- who the fuck? Can we take a break? Who the fuck throws syringes? <sighs> yes, yeah, like you wish. If you were the person that threw the syringe at Al Hefe, could we're you please contact me? No, we, we have to do the graffiti. I want to talk to you. Uh, well, this is apparently your show, so you, whenever you're ready. No, I was, just, I was talking to the person um, out there, whoever threw the syringe at Al Hefe. I'd like to meet you. I, just, I like, I'm just, I like I know that about you, Sam. I want to know what's you going like to meet on. I want to talk to you. you like to meet I, just, well, I just want to know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, so we're playing a show in Germany, and someone spit in my face, and I hate that. I'm like, who fucking did that? And this guy with the mohawk raised his hand, and then Timmy Chunks went out there, started beating him up. I went out there, grabbed on his mohawk. and Mohawk? Mohawk. Right, and I, didn't, I realized I don't know how to hit with my left hand at all. And uh, <laughs> so he just got the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. And then after the show, he's like, he was back, coming backstage. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, uh, I didn't really hear what you said. I just raised my hand. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I was that. like, oh, Damn, uh, that's fucked up. Sorry. Damn. That's, that's why, what you get that's why for you raising your hand. That's why you don't throw the rock back into the stands. Yeah, and that's why you don't raise your hand, even yeah. in class. Yeah. <laughs> this segment is called Graffiti Artist Spelling Bee. Mm-hmm. So, you're going to pick a number. You know I'm a horrible starter. I'm a lyric. I know that. I'm a continuation high school. Uh, I didn't know that. Well, graffiti is how you wish to spell. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's the graffiti. I mean, mm-hmm. That's I, I've, I've never heard of this before. <laughs> I, I didn't know you're a bad speller. Uh, anyway, come That's on. why you text me all crazy on. You want to see how, how bad I'll spell something? No, I just thought this would be fun. Okay, let's go. I mean, so... 
Let's do this. So, uh, you can have the first one. Number. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, and if you don't like the word, pass it off to him. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Let's go for it. Ooh, Ooh. Yes, 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 yeah, I like this. I like this. So let me get a little peek at those. Three. Three, what's three? All right, number three is plagiarize. Your word is oh plagiarize. <laughs> plagiarize. Never. You want to give it to him? No. Okay, you got it. Sam? Uh, There's some easier ones. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be a fun game. So, it's plagiarize. That's wild. The scores, I'm glad I didn't get that one. <laughs> the, 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 the scores, the scores are based. I'll put all the worst spelling. You get a point for, for speed. You get a point for spelling and for style. Okay. So, like, what's your word, Sam? Five. Number five is chode. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, let's chode. do this. Did you need the origin of the word? <laughs> chode. I like Crucio's. I like, I like the color a lot more in this one. What color is that, Sam? Uh, is, is, it, is that like this is fucking mm, this is a, a poop abuse, on, this is a on sidewalk gray this is a fucking uh, abused <laughs> <laughs> abused uh, neighbor abused neighbor purple abused neighbor purple <laughs> <laughs> Sam what has you higher right now the weed or the paint <laughs> 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 Probably the weed. More. Probably the weed. This is a, this is a like fucking water based paint. This isn't even good shit. Nope. You need to get that fucking like 1990s order to supply Krylon or like a uh, chrome. That's a good shit. I suck the zip for some chrome. The old rundle undle. That's what a chode is. It's a flat between your nut sack and your asshole or your vagina and your poop chute if you're a boy or a girl. But here's what I tell I you. So this is what I, I like. The taint. That is the taint. It's also the grundle. It's also known as the chode. Oh. And so when people call you a fucking chode, they mean a sweaty little bike flap of meat down there. And so what I say is I am chode. I'll see you down on Main Street because that's when you're looking down the butthole. I thought it, right down Main Street. I thought it meant bro. Because people are always saying, what's up, chode? No, or well, they could be saying chud, like the 80s fucking yeah, movie. Yeah, I thought... Chode is when your dick's Oh my god, bigger. how many people have called me that? No, chode is when your dick's bigger, girthier than it is longer. No. That's what a chode that's a, that's a fucking, that's a fucking board. Chode. That's a board. <laughs> he knows, dude. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're both really good. Uh, they're both, you know, misspelled. That one wins. But, I don't know. Uh, how do you, you spell, spell, spell chode? How do you spell you, chode? You, uh, you were faster. How do you spell chode? How do you spell chode? Uh, I feel like that's a way to spell chode. According to Sean, <laughs> it's C-H-O-A-D-E. C-H-O-A-D-E. That's according to Sean, because he would know. <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> shit, hey. <laughs> Fuck that shit. A hey, consort the oracle. Well, who's got the phone? You guys took my phone away from me. Look, in an Urban Dictionary, see what it says. No, it's not an Urban Dictionary. Chode is an actual word, sir. It's fucking... Thirsty. Chuck Merriam Webster. Okay. Chuck Merriam Webster. Chuck Mary and Webster now, will tell you what the fuck You spelled this ghetto style. Yeah. But it, even in ghetto style, I, I believe it's still spelled wrong. The I-Z is correct. Yeah, <laughs> what that's about about you. No. But you had the A-I right. Hey, you know what? He should have... It just goes here. Okay, it's very hard word. He has How to spell plagiarism. How do you spell plagiarism? P L A G A I. P L A G A I. P L A G A I. And? I A. P L A G I A. Hard word. R I Z E. Yeah, I mean, the no E, so that's fine. I A after the G. After the G. Okay. Your final word. The final word, and don't look at each other's, is. Misspelled. No, misspell. 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 Your challenge. Oh, that's that's the word. Is misspelled. Yeah. C come on, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we both are doing it. You both are doing, both it. doing it. I'm just gonna do my. I'm just gonna play playing straight letters with this one because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's like I don't want to put a lot of my heart into it. Because this is this is just funny. Showed I felt like I had. It. I felt. Like <laughs>
I thought I had it. I was like, don't the fuck Chode up. Like, I got Chode. And so <laughs> the way that I felt about Chode is how I feel about misspell. And so I know it's wrong. <laughs> Uh, these weren't on a list of the 10 most misspelled words. You got cover up? Yeah. Where you go under it? I'll call that. Come on, dude. That showed. I want to show it on my wall. Because fucking things were made to be destroyed, Mike. Oh. Confucius says, fuck you. Like careers? There's only one way to misspell this word. Yeah, it's one L or two L's. It's one L or two L's. We're not helping you. Or is it misspell? I mean, spell is definitely two L's, but is it the two S's? Well, yeah, that's your only but choice. He, but is it making a Jew joke because it's fucking the oh, SS God. shit? You know what I mean? You don't know with this fucking guy. I mean, look. No. You you know. There's only one way to, to, to misspell. It's misspell. a crazy Jew joke. Is, is it one S or two S's? And one of you put one S, one of you put two S's. We'll see who got it right. Oh, I fucked up with the S? <laughs> No, oh, I got two S's right there. You can see how it flows in. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Everyone knows how to spell spell. No one spells it like Oh, Sam does. He's doing spray paint. He uh, wears a, an orange vest. Yeah. So if uh cop pulls over, he, he starts cleaning it up. Looks so you settle on two L's, huh, Sam? Yeah, I'm settling on two L's. Yeah, you saw it. You saw it good. Okay, here we are at the end. We have Sam's over here, which uh, I think he tried to. <laughs> I think it's all right. I mean, I see two S's. Well, for <laughs> style. I see two. I see. Uh, you in for uh, the better piece. For speed, uh, you, get, you get that point. Kershaw also wins that, yeah. Uh, yeah. For spelling, I'm not sure if you misspelled it. No, I'm sure. Uh, one S. That's the real thing. Okay. And uh, two L's. L times two. Yes. I like that because you saw that he spelled it right. No, 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 no. See, I had two L's to begin with before I even saw you. So you can see the two L's in my thing. You can see the two L's with the whites. I see what you did. You see, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And uh, you spelled misspell right, which is one of the most misspelled words. Oh, so he spelled is misspelled wrong. No, you, you did it right. No, I'm saying people spell that wrong. Yeah, they spell it wrong. So it is two S's. Yeah. So that is it's misspelled. misspelled. Yeah. You, you misspelled it. You misspelled it. Mm. But at least you got the two L's after you saw he put two L's. Pretty much. I mean, you know. You yeah, that's cool. You got you got you got Three points for this, but you're gonna get a point for getting higher because you wore a mask. You're definitely more high. We'll call it three to one. The other words, I'm equal. They were both very good. I get a point for shots out to liquid death. Ooh. Shout out, yeah. This episode brought to you by Liquid Death. You both misspelled the other ones. Yeah. So that brings you back down to zero. Yeah. No, you, no one. Anyway, uh, we're all winners here. But uh, <laughs> he's a bigger winner than you. Sure. Okay, we're not all winners here. The hat loss. Oh my god. Well, that's why I keep my notes. Oh. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? I think I'm so smart. I keep my notes on my hat. If you'd like to see the entire video of each episode and listen commercial free, go to fatmikedude.com and subscribe.